just our trades for today. Today is Tuesday, February 28th of 2023. We did three trades in our main option trading account and one in our small trading account. So the first one we're going to talk through is our PSA order. Where we rolled the March 17th, 320 cash secure put option out and down to September 15th, $3.10. So we were able to roll it down by $10 and then we also pocketed $3 per share. So let me show you in the charts what I saw that, that made me want to do this trade. So you see PSA, you see that our strike price was at 320. We actually got it rolled down right into this area here about 310. So I would have liked to get it below the 200 exponential moving average here, this red, this red line, but we couldn't get it there with the credit. And we already went out to September, so I didn't really want to go out any farther. And we had this order actually sitting out there for a while, for several weeks. This is why you do that. You let these orders sit out there because as the stock moves around, see nothing really spectacular today. It had been heading lower and today was a pretty decent up day by 1.28%. So decent up day, but it got filled today. So that's why you have those orders just sitting out there because you never know when they'll get filled. And I could ask Randy how often they get filled. Well, often enough, in my opinion, to keep doing it. So, so now we're at a spot where it's now right at an area that should serve as resistance for it. We see indeed the 200, the red 200 moving average did serve as resistance for it back here in early February. Still some pretty strong volume down bars, as you can see here over the past several weeks. So one thing I do like is that it looks like PSA has made a higher low and appears to also made a higher high, even from this high here, it's a little bit higher from this high here, it's a little bit higher. So let's look at maybe trying to reverse course here from a downtrend and uptrend. Over the weekly chart, we see that the sales volume has been declining over the past several weeks. So will, this, will the sellers kind of lose their steam? Looks like they're trying to, which also coincides with on the longer weekly chart here, the red 200 exponential moving average. So it very well could decline back down to the moving average, which would put it around 280. But now we bought ourselves quite a bit of time. So we'll just kind of sit back and see what happens with this position. We've been collecting premium every time we've rolled this. So although it's keeping some of our capital tied up, we're also turning it into a winner and in time we'll be able to get out for a profit if all goes according to plan. The next trade was a MA MasterCard. Let's pull this chart up here. This is one I've been watching over the past several weeks. Of course, when it topped out, made a higher high, I liked that. I saw it had made a higher low. So I was waiting on it to come back down and now it has. It's come back down to right at the red 200 exponential moving average on this daily chart. I appeared to find support there a couple days ago Yesterday was a nice advance, but again, came down today, appeared to be finding support there. The one, one of the negatives is that we do see that as it's been declining, the volume's been fairly high, but still under the 50 volume moving average. So not like sellers are all that excited. Today was a fairly high volume day. We see it didn't go anywhere. Sellers try to push it down, buyers push it back up, buyers try to push it up, sellers push it down. So now we're stuck in between these two moving averages, the green 50 and red 200 on the daily chart. Looking over here at the weekly chart, this is, this is one of the biggest reasons why I decided to move with this trade is that we see that over the past month and a half, as the sellers have been pushing the stock down, it just appears they're losing interest. You see that the steam has just been coming out of the sellers, out of the sellers. So they're just, they're not as excited to sell it. Now something could happen, could trigger it to push through its support and definitely keep going. But I like it when the stock has been dropping, approaching support on multiple time frames and the volume has been declining. That tells me that sellers are not as excited as they were a month ago to sell this stock. And this coincides with this green 50 exponential moving average. Also an area that even going back all the way to 2020, even actually it goes back here to early 2020 before the big drop in March of 2020, this area where we sold this, this put option at is 350 per share. It served as resistance for it, resistance, resistance, support, and we see it just kind of, it likes to hang around this area. Serves kind of as resistance there, broke through it, served in the general area as support, and now it's come back down. So this is a really popular area for MasterCard. So we'll just have to see if, if it does hold. I, one thing I don't like, I don't like the, the hourly chart too much, although it did make an advance. It found resistance against this green 50 moving average on the hourly or 60 minute chart, but it did retest support right here around our 350 area. So. I like the trade. If it does break through this, then the next air support will probably be around 337 or so. And if it does that, then we'll have to adjust it or, or tweak the trade to turn it back into a, a winner for us long term. So that's MasterCard. The next one's Johnson Johnson. This guy's really been heading against us here the past 
the past uh, several weeks. It appeared to be finding support, and then it just broke through. It, was, it traded sideways from January 30th all the way through, let's see here, about two weeks to February 14th. So trading sideways, that's when we entered this position. And then it just broke down through it. So today, with there not being much time volume left in this position, I decided to go ahead and roll it. It does appear that the sellers were starting to lose steam until today. They got excited again today. We see the volume spike back up above the 50 moving average, and it was a strong down day. So we got this rolled in time before the decline, and now we just kind of sit back, and we have until June to do something with it. And we may let it be assigned to us You know, right now with us getting nice interest on our cash sitting in our account that secures these put options. Not too excited about turning them into cover calls, but if that's the best thing we can do for the position, then that's definitely what we'll do. So looking at the weekly chart, also see that it, it broke through this red 200 moving average, so definitely a bearish sign. And we'll have to see if the volume this week is higher. It, it was a little lower last week than it was the week before, and that was lower than a few weeks before that, but it's looking very bullish. So now we'll have to see what happens. You know, the next major, major area of support, looking at that, looks like we'll have one about 150, which is about $5 lower than our strike price. And we could be at one now. We see this area right in here, right here back in January of 20, May of 20, kind of all throughout that year. That area served as resistance for it until it broke through it. Then it turned to support in this weekly chart. Support there, support here, here, here. And also even generally here, which is where we sold it, around that 160 where we sold it initially. So it's broken through it. So now it's testing this area right at the 155. It's crashed through there, which isn't positive. So the next major area looks to be around this 150 mark. So we'll have to see how it responds. It's in an area now that coincides with a lot of this, this consolidation in here in 2020. So we'll just have to see what it does and we'll adjust it accordingly. Now our last trade was, was LAZ. We had one more put option we could put on until we reach our initial position size. And we sold this. We had it sitting out there since about noon Eastern time. And finally, in the last few seconds, this you can't look at this time here because it's skewed because of where the computer is located at. But this was just a few minutes before it closed, about 38 seconds before the market closed, this order got filled. So unfortunately, I couldn't get it out there before the market closed. But if you like the trade, then hopefully it'll be out there for you in the morning. So we sold the Lazard April 21st, $36 cash secure put option. So let's look at Lazard here. The reason why I sold this is that Lazard, since, since around October of last year, it's been in a pretty decent uptrend on this daily chart and on the weekly chart as well. But let's focus on the daily first. And it's making higher highs, it's making higher lows. It recently made a higher high, now it's made a higher low. And the volume looks pretty good, uh, although it was fairly strong selling pressure. That subsided. That subsided about, let's see, about two weeks ago, about 18 days ago. So that's calmed down, and now the buyers appear to be trying to take over. And so we see that found support just above our trend line that we had drawn here several weeks back. And we also sold the $36 strike price. So if it comes down to this trend line, that $36 strike price is right at the bottom of this upward sloping trading channel. So I like that. This is here you see why it got filled. This is the, the minute chart of Lazarus. You see, right at the end of the day, in the last minute, it had a big drop from 37.60 down to 37.34. So that's why it got filled right at the end of the day. Looking at the hourly chart, not too excited about what I see here because it is running into resistance, although it has made a higher high and a higher low here. But now this this 200 moving average on this hourly chart is serving as resistance. So it'll have to push through there if it's going to go any higher. So we'll see how that, that plays out. Not too concerned with that. But as you know, I like the daily and the weekly. Those are my main focus when I enter trades. So here we see in the volume section on this weekly chart that the volume has just been declining. I mean, dropping pretty hard over the past month as Lazard came down to the lower part of this upward sloping trading channel. So I really like that a lot. And so far this week, if it holds in as a green week, then it's doing exactly what it typically should do. Of course, anything can happen as we know in trading, but I like the way this looked on our weekly chart. So we added this last position. We're now at a full position size in this account. So we can no longer add any more to Lazard. We also do the same trade in our small account. So for those of you who have a small account, this, this segment of the video will be for you as well. So that was our trades for today. We're beginning to try to look for opportunities to close out 
some of the March options. We have several that are nearly worthless. They're under 10%. I'd like to get them under 5% annualized return to get them closed out or close to it. So we're looking for those opportunities. We'll begin to continue to roll or close out these orders like we did with PSA and J&J &J that expire here in a few weeks on the third Friday of March. So that's our trade for today. I hope you have a great evening.